Well, here at home, there's a political storyline unfolding around the next potential candidate for governor. Now the Jersey City Mayor Steve Fulop announced he won't seek re-election, a move political insiders consider his first step toward a gubernatorial run. The announcement also sets off political jockeying in what will be a crowded field of contenders for the race. Senior political correspondent David Cruz has that story. After talking it over with Jacqueline at the start of this new year, I've decided that I won't be on the ballot again as mayor. It rolled out like a campaign announcement, complete with drone shots of the skyline, dramatic music, and a laundry list of accomplishments. Steve Fulop all but confirming that he's running for governor by confirming that he's not running for mayor three years from now. It's time to let someone else lead this special city and for me to really think about what I want to do next. And what might that be, you may ask? To be clear, the mayor is intending to run for governor, the first one out of the gate, so to speak. We've actually been here before with Steve Fulop. Back in 2016, he was considered something of a front runner when he suggested that he was planning a run for governor. Until suddenly, he wasn't. I think number one is that, uh, you know, I've been in this office for 10 years. And I think that in 2017, I was in that office, or 2016, I was here for three years. Um, secondly, I think that, you know, in the last four or five years, you know, life has changed for me a considerable m amount. Um, you know, I've had a loss in my family where my brother passed away, who I'm very close to. I got married. I had two kids, uh, moved into a house in the Heights. Uh, life changes. You have different perspective. You grow. This reflects an important lesson learned from 2017. You don't get in and out of the race. You be unequivocal. You send a clear signal. He's doing all of those things now. Micah Rasmussen of the Rebovich Institute for New Jersey Politics says Fulop is smart to get out there early because the field is expected to be thick with candidates, formidable candidates. Newark Mayor Ross Baraka. We have Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill. Assembly Speaker Craig Coughlin is potentially interested. Former Senate President Steve Sweeney and now Jersey City Mayor Steve Fulop. So it's gonna, this is not going to be an easy field for anybody. Yes, it's three years away, right? But in politics, especially in Jersey, that's right around the corner. But the other side of this coin is the mayor's job, a pretty good one. Phillips' announcement this week also starts the ball rolling on that election, also three years away. Insiders say there was pressure on Fulop to make his intentions known so that others, like former councilman and current county commissioner Bill O'Day, can make their moves. One, I would want to see who else would want to run. If there's somebody maybe younger and better, you know, my ego, you know, my ego's not that big, Dave. If I think there's somebody younger and better uh, that shares my philosophy and I could help them, I could live with that. Um, but absent that, I'm very young, 63. Fulop is popular in the city, albeit not without detractors. He has a good democratic story to tell. Jersey City is one of the most dynamic cities in the state, and the mayor's been building his profile for years now, hoping that the field this time around will at least be predictable and that there isn't another Phil Murphy out there to short-circuit this effort. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.